to access the setup function in the SimpleSat Lookdown program, first click on the setup button, which is right here. When you click on this button, a little window pops up. And if you just want to do the minimum setup, you know, to try out the program, all you really have to do is enter in your location, which is location one, which is shown by the little um, yellow rectangle in the main window. Uh, you can enter in your location two ways. You can enter it in as a four or six character grid locator. You can enter that and you could enter in your altitude if you want, even though it really doesn't make any difference. And then click the use grid button and the program will calculate the new latitude and longitude from that grid um, and set up and store uh, your location information and use it. Or you can enter in your location one information by entering a latitude and longitude pair and optionally an altitude and then click on the use latitude longitude button and a grid locator will be calculated from this latitude longitude pair uh, and it will be stored and used in the program. Um, the latitude longitude uh, pair can actually be a little more accurate if you're really worried about um, that sort of thing. Uh, but the grid locator is accurate for any practical applications. If you plan on using the location 2 function in the predict uh, operation in the main went, uh, menu, you would enter in location 2 the same way. Either in a, enter in a grid locator and altitude or enter in a latitude longitude pair. Uh, press the use grid button if you entered a grid locator. Press the use latitude longitude button if you enter the latitude longitude pair. Over here on the left side we have the controls that are used for setting up and editing our groups. Uh, in this box we have a sorted list of all the satellites that we have information for that were downloaded from the web. Over here we have the satellites that are in the currently selected group. And right now we're looking at something called AO series sats. And these are the four satellites that are in that group. Uh, down here is another little box that repeats the group name. And it's used if you want to change the name of your group. So if you wanted to call it something else, just using a keyboard, uh, you can alter it or enter in a completely different name if you wanted. And then just click on the Update Group Name button and that change uh, will be recorded. Uh, to select a different group, we click on the Satellite Group button and a list of all the groups show up. Uh, you may remember or noti have noticed in the other video that a lot of these groups did not show up. Uh, the reason is the main program will only display groups that actually have satellites in them. So if you don't have any satellites in a group, it's not going to show up. Uh, there'd be no point to it. Uh, if you want to switch to a different group, just go like this uh, to add a satellite to a group, just click on the name of the satellite that you want to add. So if we wanted to add um, this satellite, CP3, we could click on its name. If we wanted to add Falcon, we can click on that. To remove satellite from a group, click on the name over here. So click over here if you want to add it. Click over here if you want to delete. 
And again, if all you want to do is try the program out, um, if you want realistic numbers, all you have to do is enter in location one. If you want to use the location two option in the predict function, enter this in. Uh, if you want to create new groups, if you wanted a new one, you could just over, go over here, pick one of these that I created creatively uh, named empty. Call it something else if you want. Throw some satellites into it. Uh, throw some satellites into it over here and update the group name and you're good to go. Uh, to leave the setup function, all you have to do is go up here to this little red box with the X in the middle of it and all the information will be stored. And we can see our new group shows up here in the satellite group list. I think that's all there is to it. Um, hope you have good luck with this and you know if it meets your needs that's fine. If not there's plenty of other programs out there to to try. In any event have fun. 73s from W9KE.